So today I am going to be doing a tag video and it is going to be the anime slash otaku tag. Now I know it's not beauty related but um, I really liked this tag and I thought I would share with you guys um, some stuff about me, my favorite animes, stuff like that because you guys had requested it. If you don't want to see it, there's an exit button up there. You can go click on another video of mine or whatever. But, um, I know some of you guys wanted to know, like, my favorite animes and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, the first question is, what is your top three favorite animes? Uh, Blue Exorcist, Rosario Vampire, and mm, fairy tale. Who is your favorite anime character? I think out of all of them, I really love Rin um, from Blue Exorcist, and he's just amazing. And I, I mean, he's just he's just so kick ass, and I love him. What is the first anime you ever watched? Um, well, when I was younger, I started off with Pokemon. That was my life. Like, all the girls were in the Sailor Moon, and I was like, Pikachu. I only wanted to have everything Pikachu, and, if, and I collect Pokemon cards. I still have all my cards. Like, everything that was had Pikachu on it, I had to have it. Even if I didn't need it, I wanted it because I was so obsessed with Pikachu. It was, it was really bad. I still am pretty obsessed with Pikachu because every time I see something with Pikachu on it, I freak out. And I'm like, I need it! So, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, I went for a while without watching really any anime. And then, the one that brought me back into it was Angel Beats, and then I was just like, well, fuck, <laughs> just <laughs> met, see you all in therapy. <laughs> How did you get into loving anime? Um, you know, like I said, when I was younger, I started watching Pokemon, and I, I don't know, something about it just really captured my eye. I didn't really like any of the children's shows that they had for the younger ones. I was the weird kid watching HGTV and Food Network in like elementary and middle school. <laughs> and I just, you know, with Pokemon and anime, it just kind of was like kind of an escape from reality. Um, I kind of got to go on these little adventures with um, Ash and Pikachu and I kind of got to kind of get away from all the crap that I had to deal with on a daily basis at school. So, you know, I was a, I, I was a very weird child because I watched, you know, Pikachu Pikachu. I watched Pokemon and then I watched HGTV and Food Network because I would <laughs> there's something wrong with me and I'm very proud of it. Um, what's the most recent anime that you've watched? There's so many of them. Um, I'm catching up on my fairy tale. Um, Absolute Duo. Um, Cross Ange, uh, the new Sailor Moon Crystal, um, there's just like all these new animes that are coming out and I'm just like watching them all, um, I think there's one, Junketsu no Maria, I believe that's what it's called, um, but you know, I love it, um, but I'm trying to catch up on my fairy tale, the 2014 version, um, or second season, whatever you really want to call it. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I've been pretty obsessed with that lately. Uh, let's see. Do you collect anime stuff? I do. Over there. It's small. It's dark. It's small. I mean, um, but 
it's growing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have like this huge Amazon wish list of stuff that one day I will buy. <laughs> and it's just like one day, one day. <laughs> so, I do collect anime stuff and all that. So, and I mean, I have post. I mostly collect posters. So I can just stick them on my wall, but, you know. <laughs> um, which anime character describes her personality? <sighs> Dang. That's a tough one. Um, honestly, Ren from Blue Exorcist, he's just, he has a lot of anger issues, and he's got a lot of, um, inner demon, no pun intended, and it's just like, you know, he, kind of an outsider his entire life, and people looked at him like he was weird and crazy, and of course, they looked at him like he was, you know, Satan, <laughs> um, and I've definitely experienced that in my life, I've had a lot of people look at me by the way I dress, the way I express myself, um, and look at me like I'm the spawn of Satan. And it's just, I can really relate to him in that aspect because he wanted to be a good person and he wanted to really show the world that he's not this terrible, horrible person that everybody thinks he is. And that really resonated with me and it sticks with me. And it's like, hey, if, if the son of Satan can do good, why can't everybody else? Okay. <laughs> um, do you go to anime conventions? I do. Um, I'm actually going to go to Momocon this year and um, AWA. I'm hoping to get to go to Anime Expo. Um, I'm still not sure about that. I will let you guys know at a later date um, if I'm going to go. Um, I really, I really want to go to Anime Expo because two people that I love here on YouTube, the Victorian K and Judy the Pooh, are both going to be there, and that just made it like a million times more reasons for me to want to go. Um, I've met Judy the Pooh before, and he's like the sweetest person ever, and I absolutely adore the Victorian K. If you have not checked them out, you need to. Their links will be below because I'm tagging them in this video. I'm just letting you know you know, foreshadowing. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but I love anime conventions. Um, my first anime convention, though, was 2014 MomoCon. So, um, I didn't really get into the conventions because I really didn't have the money to go to the conventions and all that kind of stuff. And now, and I really didn't have any friends that liked anime. I mean, I had friends that liked makeup and beauty, but I really didn't have any friends that really liked anime and dressing up as characters until last year. So, um, that's when it, it all went downhill. <laughs> well, more like uphill, but it's just like, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you read manga? I do. Um, I like to read it uh, either online or I'll go to the bookstore. Like, I've actually gone to Barnes & Noble, sit there for a couple hours and just read, just read the mangas and stuff. Um, I have to say I'm very impatient when it comes to the ones that are online and how they come out so slowly. Like, I'm still waiting on Love Stage 25, Chapter 25 to come out. And it seems like it's been forever, and I'm just like, ah! So, yeah. Um, what's your favorite manga? Like I said, Love Stage. Um, I love it. I was reading that before the anime came out, and I fell in love. Um, I like re reading anything that yaoi related. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you listen to anime, um, OPs and EDs? Yes, I do. Um, I try to download them. If I really like them, I download the openings, endings, and then if they have, like, alternate endings and openings and all that, I, I usually download it. Um, and whose OP EDs do you like? Uh, Rosario Vampires, um, Discotet, that is 
my shit. I love it so much. Like, I just, I'm just like, yes. I have it on my playlist and I play it all the time and I'm just like, yes, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you understand Japanese? Um, some things I understand, some not. I usually, I mainly watch anime subbed, English subbed, instead of dubbed, um, because it, A, my patience will not allow it, and I really want to learn Japanese as well, so uh, that way I can kind of hear it, and see the words, and kind of put two and two together, um, can you speak Japanese? Only a few things, and I'm, I'm trying to study and practice it, um, because I'm trying to learn Korean and Japanese now, so it's a little bit difficult, but I want to do it. <laughs> so, you know, I'm excited to learn more. Um, name the top five animes or mangas you would recommend to your friends. Of course, Blue Exorcist, because that is the holy grail for me, anyways. Um, let's see. Of course, Rosario the Vampire, Fairy Tale, Akame Ga Kill, and. And Love Stage. Yes. Uh, do you enjoy being an, being an otaku? I'm very proud to be an otaku. I don't care what anybody says. Some people find it offensive. Some people don't appre don't like that word. I don't care. You can call me an otaku all you want to. I'm very proud of who I am. And, um, I'm a proud otaku. A proud nerd. And I don't care. <laughs> do you regret being an otaku? No, I do not. Because I I like what I like. Everybody likes something different. You don't have to like the exact same thing I like. But the fact that you respect what I like. Cool. Um, so, you know. We're different. We live in this world. We all have different things that we like. Things that we don't like. So, it's just, you know. <laughs> Alright. Can you draw anime manga characters? I try. Um, I used to draw really, really well when I was younger. Um, like in middle school and high school I used to draw all the time. And then I got out of it and now I'm trying to get back into drawing. So, I'm trying. <laughs> and I really want to get a tablet one of these days so I can do, you know, all that special stuff. If you could be an anime character, who would you want to be? I don't really know. Because they're all so awesome. Maybe Ryuko from Kill a Kill. Because it would be badass to be able to like beat people fast with a damn big ass pair of scissors. I think that would be pretty cool, I have to say. Well, half a pair of scissors, but still. Um... Also, um, Inner Mocha from Rosario Vampire because she doesn't give a shit. I love it. Uh, yes. Have you cosplayed? <laughs> yes. I love cosplaying and it's so much fun. And if you have not seen any of my cosplay makeup tutorials, go click below and I'll have my cosplay page if you, if you want to check it out. If not, that's okay. You don't have to. But yes, I do cosplay. Do you have otaku friends and classmates? I do have otaku friends. So I'm happy. <laughs> what genre do you usually read or watch? Um, I like ones with demons, vampires, um, you know, mythical creatures, kind of, um, I like Echi, um, Yaoi, Yuri, and, um, you know, like, Supernatural, so, all those in there, 
and then the occasional like certain slut like not really like slice of life slash like lots of etchy uh, <laughs> so I mean yeah uh let's see do you dance and cosplay I have not but my friend Domi and I have thought about doing that and I would really like to do that that would be cool so yeah it might happen do you like Pocky Hell yeah! Pocky is like god. I love it so much. I have like a huge, huge box of, well, it's empty now, but of Pocky is like that big that I got at Momocon last year, and I destroyed it. <laughs> it's so good, and I'm just always on the hunt for Pocky. Uh, do you think you are an anime character? I don't think I am, unless I'm living in some weird alternate reality. Um, but I don't think I'm. A, I don't know. Are you an artist? I would consider myself an artist. Um, yeah. Are you carrying an anime character's child? <laughs> what? Really? No, I'm not. <laughs> no. How would that even be possible? I don't even know. I, I don't know. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. It's a little bit different from the normal beauty tag. But that way you guys get to see the geeky, awesome otaku side. So, yeah. So, I'm going to tag some people. The Victorian K. Judy the Pooh. And... You! If you like anime, you like manga do this tag. It will be fun to see what you guys like. We can exchange anime ideas and manga ideas and cosplay ideas and all that good stuff. And if you like to cosplay, you should do this tag because it would be fun. And I will love you forever. Sarange. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you later. Bye.